Arcade's MCP Gateway is basically a front door MCP server endpoint that your MCP client connects to. And they handle all the routing, authorization, and governance for you. And for each MCP server that you create, you select only the tools you want for that server. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and integrate this right now with N810 all in one shot. Okay, this is very easy, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works and why you should be using this right now. So go ahead and go to arcade.dev. And then from here, just go ahead and click try for free. I still haven't paid for anything yet. So just go ahead and sign in, just create in, create an account. So once you do that and you, and you sign in, you'll be greeted by a dashboard page. Okay, so here we are in the dashboard. This is going to show you how many tools they have right now, which they have over 7,500 tools. They have two servers, 22 OAuth applications, ways to sign in with uh, sign in with your applications. And then of course, you know, I have different secrets for everything, but what we're gonna do on the left-hand side, there is an MCP gateway. Okay, so you can see I've kind of already created uh, two arcade dev hosted MCP servers. So at the top right, go to and create MCP gateway. So we're going to do something with our calendar. So we're just going to, I'm just going to name this calendar. And then for authentication, make sure you choose arcade headers and then the allowed tools, right? What we want to do is we want to choose which tools or tool tools from the toolkit that you want to use. So we can look for a calendar, Google calendar. I'm going to click on the seven tools. I just want to create update, delete, and list events. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose those four, click on use four tools, and then click create MCP gateway. Okay, so right here we have, we have the calendar. So what we're gonna first do is we're just gonna copy this because now we're gonna go ahead and create our first workflow. Okay, so the first step is we are going to create a chat trigger, chat trigger. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and choose an AI agent as the next node. Because we can, this is allow you to use multiple different tools or you know MCP clients for those servers. All right. So then, what we need is a chat model. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna choose OpenAI. I think we use uh, GPT 5.1. You can many of these will work. All right. And then for the tool, we're going to actually search for MCP client. We are going to paste in the endpoint. All right. So this is the endpoint. Keep keep it as HTTP streamable, but for the authentication, we need multiple headers auth, and then we're going to create a new credential. Okay, so we're going to actually need two of these. So I'm going to click on add header. We need two of these exactly. So in order to do that, um, there they have a docs for MCP home gateway, or whenever you go to calendar, if you want to uh, edit this, it tells you down here you need authorization, and then bearer and your API key. So this is going to be authorization, authorization, if I can spell. And then this is going, the value is bearer, B-E-A-R-E-R -E -R space. And then we need to get an API key. So we can do that by clicking on the bottom left, get API key. Then we can create API key and you just name this an 810 test. I don't, not, not really too worried if you see this, just going to show you how to do this. I want to remove this after this uh, call or after this video. So now we have, you should have something like bear space and then your API key. Okay, good. Now for the next one, what we need, if we go back, we can go back to our MCP gateways. Then for calendar, you just click on the little pencil icon. It says we need arcade user ID and then the end user of your agent. Okay, so this is this will basically be the email address that you signed in with for um, for Arcade Dev. So I'm just going to use my email address. Okay, and then we're going to click save and make sure I spelled that right. Yep. So we click save. All right, awesome. So now we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open chat, and then say, "Can you get me my events?" My, can you get me three events in December, 2025? All right, so the agent is working. You can also add memory if you if you like. Um, but this this went to the MCV client, came back, and it should come up in the chat with three events from uh, December, 2025. And it did. Here are three events from December, 2025. Okay, awesome. That worked. That's pretty much how easy it is to get this uh to get this working okay, and just as a 
And just as another example, I created a Slack one. All it does is send a message to a Slack channel. And I said, can you send a message to my Slack channel AI that it works? So it says it sent the message, it works. And I used the same exact, uh, same exact multiple headers auth that we had used. This is just the different endpoint. And then whenever I did that, if we go over to my Slack AI channel, it says, it works. So this is probably the easiest way that I've seen to really create MCP servers and then get them running within N8 to N. Okay. And you can have multiple MCP servers here, right? This is just a, just one introduction to how to use RK dev with N8 to N. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, here's more videos for you to watch right now.